Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. It's me, XP Master 286 for another episode. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys about the Iroquois and what they do and how they live and things like that. But before we start, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the bell to never miss another video. And let's get started. There were many different types of nations. The Sakana, the Cayuga, the Onondaga, the Oneida, and the Mohawks. These tribes were always at war. Later on, they formed an alliance with all the tribes and made an organization called the League of the Iroquois. Even later on, a tribe called the Tuscarora joined the alliance in 1772. The Iroquois formed a constitution on how the organization would be ran. Many of the laws from the Iroquois the United States use today. The laws are si that are similar to today's are that men and women had a role in government, and they also had freedom of religion. And the Iroquois originated in New York. The Iroquois built their villages near rivers. I did not necessarily build a village because it's kind of a lot, but... You guys get the point of the longhouses. And over here, you can see the longhouse. The Iroquois lived in longhouses. The houses filled usually up to 12 people. This is about pretty much it. You had the campfires inside. This is pretty much 12 people. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 people. Oh, okay. You're not supposed to be here. And neither are you. Okay, that's 12. And then... We'll leave and we'll come over here. This is a palisade. A palisade is a large wall or fence used for protection. As you can see, these giant walls around the whole thing. Over here, you can see different tribes, different types of tribes traded with each other. If these tribes are different, the Algonquians were one of the tribes to trade with them, and the, the Algonquians were not the Iroquois. They were people who traded with them. The tribes farmed for food as well, like wheat. So you can see, the farmers are uh, the farmers are farming basically, and they're looking through the wheat. I will fix that wheat later. Let me come over here. When weather has changed, the tribes will move into a, a new farming area so that they can start better because maybe their environment was affected by rain, snow, things like that. And we will come over here. As you guys can see, we have our test subjects, John and Bob. When the tribes battled, if the woman's son died, then one of the captured battle in battle could replace him. In other words, so let's say Bob and John. John is on the Mohawks, and Bob is on the Oneida. Bob is the, the leader's uh, son, which was a lady. So he basically, he basically, you guys killed in battle. So there you go, goodbye, Bob. And now John gets kidnapped by the Oneida. And the mother thinks that he can basically take on the role of what he has. So they name John... They named John Bob, and now he's Bob. He does everything Bob does, because Bob is no longer there, and John replaces him. And before we end off the video, guys, if you guys didn't notice, my skin is actually Hiawatha. Now, Hiawatha was the leader of the Onondaga tribe, and he's actually one of the first people to try and form the allegiance with the alliance. With, with all the five tribes, and he was the one who traveled around to make sure everyone was at peace. This is basically what he kind of looked like. He had a mohawk, as you can see, right there, that pops up in his head, you can look close enough. And before, again, I have one more thing, one more thing. You come over here, this was the, this was the flag or symbol that the Iroquois Five Nations used. And each symbol stood for something. As you can see, this square here stood for the Sakana, the Seneca tribe. The the Cayuga tribe stood for this one. We'll get to this one. This rectangle stood for the Onida. 
and this square stood for the mohawk. Okay, now if you come over here, this middle thing that looks like a tree is, was the Onondaga. Daga. The reason why the Onondaga tribe has a tree symbol and the rest have squares and rectangles is because that the tribe's leader, Hiawatha, was the person who brought peace to the tribes to form the League. So in other words, Hiawatha is, quote-unquote, the, the, like the founder of what this is. So that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget, don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the bell to never miss another video. And we'll see you all next time.